Okay, thank you very much. Um, the, the, I'm very pleased to uh, introduce the you say, global activities this year. Uh, the, I'm afraid some of, some of you are not very familiar with you say, global. So I will uh, talk about uh, the overview a little bit and then the, introduce uh, this year's activities. Of course, I cannot cover all the activities. Uh, just uh, the um, essence. First of all, is it global is an international non-profit non-governmental organization. The members are local chapters, and the local chapter is uh, the the consortium of universities. And the university member has uh, the professor and students. Uh, the we established in the 2013, and we got the uh, primary observer status by UN Copies in 2017. Its primary uh, objective is to help create a world where space science and technology used by individual and institutions in every single country, which are poor for peaceful purposes and for the benefit of humankind. And the uh, See. And we have a very big vision uh, called Vision 2030, which states at the, uh, that by the end of 2030, let's create a world where university students can participate in practical space projects in all countries and regions. And in the beginning, our target is only 100 countries. Uh, but we joined the U U United Nations family and the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development of UN. The key principle is no one will be left behind. That's why we decided to change our goal. Um, so now our target is all countries and regions. Uh, in other words, wherever you are born, you will have a good access to the good education in the space field. This is the, our ideal world. So currently we, we have uh, 24 local chapters and 61 points of contact. And the number of university members are 213 and we have 10 corporate members. Uh, local chapters are written in red. Uh, this is the uh, geographic distributions in the uh, Okay, but we are a very small, uh, we have very limited uh, resources. How can we realize such a big vision? We believe the, even if we are small, even if we do not have uh, lots of resources, there must be something that we can do always. We can provide training program, we can organize forum, conferences, and technical competitions, and we can work to increase the debris awareness, and we can support international collaborative space projects initiated by member universities, uh, such as uh, BARS projects by QTEC. So here is the, uh, you see global activities history. So uh, as you see, before 2013, we already started some international the, uh, the projects and programs. In, in 2020, uh, we had to postpone and cancel almost all the activities. In this year, we had, um, we, we could organize some uh, in-person events. I will tell you from now, okay. Uh, this year, uh, we, uh, we, met, we, we organized the in-person events um, after two years absence. For example, see, uh, this is the, uh, the virtual event. The, this is called UNICEF Local Chapter Empowerment Program. And we organize is a congruent system seminars in January and February. And uh, we encourage local chapters to host virtual is a global meeting. And let me introduce, uh, in February, the UNICEF Turkey hosted the, eighth, uh, the 18th virtual is a global meeting. 
It was very interesting, uh, the presentations, and the, we, are, we learned, I personally learned a lot from this, uh, the, this meeting. And in March, uh, we had the University of Nepal as a host. And I was quite surprised and at the uh, diverse, diverse program or projects, um, the, the research activities in, Unis, uh, the, in Nepal. And without uh, this meeting, I had never known that the, the Nepal has uh, the, so many scientists and the researchers are doing a good job. And in May, we had uh, Music India as a host. And this one is a really big event. Uh, the number of the participants, uh, 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 more than a thousand in my understanding. Um, so I was so uh, fascinated by their talk and their uh, approach. Um, the, the space for everybody is, is really uh, the India's is uh, doing a very good job. And in June, we had, uh, I said SAR. Uh, SAR is the, uh, the South African region and the Angora and Namibia and South Africa. Um, and this is also very interesting, uh, the meeting. So each local chapter uh, the presents and the coordinate a very interesting presenters. And in August, we had the University of Philippines. It is also very, in, in, very interesting and very informative. And in the Philippines, and in, uh, the Philippines itself, they are doing a very good job uh, in, in, in a sense, they are doing uh, the education and the research and uh, the government policy and also industry development. They are doing uh, the in parallel, well organized. In the uh, last month, we had Egypt um, as a host. And it is also very interesting. And with the actually, the um, there are many uh, the, the the three very distinguished guests uh, made a speech, and the, all the all the speakers um, they shared the very important uh, the knowledge and experiences. Okay, so. And other things, the other times uh, we are, yeah, we, we mean uh, the secretariat, the uh, organized. Uh, this time it's also, but uh, yeah, but to be honest, the local chapters, uh, the hosting is uh, very, very good, but much better than the, the we do. So we uh, encourage other, the, the local chapters to host the event. Okay, let me introduce uh, this one. Uh, the, we had uh, MOU with International Academy of Astronautics, uh, IAA in short, in September. Uh, the IAA has supported uh, their activities since uh, 2011. And Mission Nida Countess, the publication IAA has supported. So the, I think, they supported us quite a lot, and it, they all also supported us um, in the, the study for post-mission disposal handbook. So now we need to think, how can we contribute to IAA? Okay, um, this is my 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 uh, task. Yeah, I need to think. Uh, let me introduce the TP11. Uh, was the um, um, we had to cancel two years, um, 2020 and 2021. So this year was a uh, um, real pleasure to meet the real people in a real uh, the place. We had the participants, uh, the 21 participants um, from 14 countries. Uh, very unfortunately, the uh, participants from New Zealand could not come because of uh, the COVID-19. 
the, uh, the let me explain about CRTP. It is the uh, Cancer Leader Training Program. And this is the uh, training program for trainers. We wanna make a trainers uh, to teach uh, their own students. And it's launched in October 2010 and for CRTP was held in 2011. And so far, the uh, more than 100 participants from 50 countries uh, graduated. The, in the first three years, we organized it without any kids. And it was quite difficult, but very fortunate we had the brilliant, well, it's very wonderful, we well organized the participants. So participants could, uh, the, you know, they could run by themselves. So it was good, uh, but in from CRTP four, we used we started using the kit. Uh, in the four years, we uh, use eye cancer, and now we use heptasat. Cancer activities is is everywhere now, and we already published uh, cancer textbook. Everybody can download it free free of charge from our website. So now we are uh, trying to reduce the gap between CANSAT and a real satellite uh, using the heptasat. In the, uh, see, so the different subject. The, we eventually could organize the, the real conference in October in Istanbul, Turkey. It was also a very wonderful experience after two, almost three years, uh, the three years, uh, the, how to say, being quiet. <laughs> or, so this day we had, uh, we organized the 11th Nanosatellite Symposium and the preliminary workshop for Mission Idea Contest and it's a global meeting. The preliminary workshop for H Mission Idea Contest, yeah, the, uh, the, the theme is multiple uh, the satellite mission. So constellation mission or uh, formation flying mission. Uh, unfortunately, the, all the presenters could not come, so they attended virtually. And the, uh, the, the audience, we, and also our reviewers, are in Istanbul and they um, the they had the Q and A uh, with the virtual participants and MIC eight they will be held in Japan uh, in this November or December we'll fix the dates quite soon and conference management workshop it is the quite unique and new uh, it's funded by METI which is uh, Ministry of of economy, not education, and econ economy, trade, and industry in Japan. And they funded uh, the uh, some travel fees and participation fees for some, several uh, candidates. And we are uh, during the, uh, the, the meeting and conference, yeah, they uh, practice uh, the uh, several uh, the tasks registration and presentation support or public relations. And in the, in the last day, they made a presentation about final proposal for organizing nanosatellite symposium and is a global meeting. Okay, it's, uh, this is uh, some hints for plan for 2023. Actually next year is a very important year for UNICEF because 20th anniversary for UNICEF uh, and 10th anniversary for UNICEF Global. So we are planning to make a statement at United Nations UN copies again in February, uh, February and April and uh, June. And in August, we uh, plan to organize CRTP 11 and then we, we are wondering if we could organize sectors of training in Africa. I'm, I need to make a proposal to get funding 
but if we could uh, succeed um, getting some funding, maybe we can do uh, it in Africa. And you said global meeting um, and the missionary contest will be held in November or December in Tokyo in Japan. Uh, so national and regional missionary contest uh, is encouraged to organize. But the most important thing is you know, UNICEF is a consortium. UNICEF Global is a consortium of local chapters. So the local chapters activities are very important. And then we are expecting the many unique local chapter activities will take place in each regions next year. And you see global restructuring and new function. Uh, you will need to explore uh, the what you see global can contribute to the world. Okay, so let's see. Okay, so oh, I, I didn't uh, say, but the um, last month uh, in November, we visited Taiwan and you said Taiwan could uh, help us to organize uh, the hectasub training there. So I think that kind of activities is also a welcome and the, uh, but, but the local chapter needs to find out what's really need, what will be the most effective activities at the time. So I really, um looking forward to next year of course i would like to spend the two more weeks in 2022 in the most effective way and most enjoyable way thank you very much <laughs>